In this video, I am going to solve a sample problem about shear stress. The bar EB is supported by a frictionless inclined surface at A and a 3 fourth inch diameter pin at B that is in double shear. Determine the shear stress in the pin when the vertical 1,000 pound force is applied. Neglect the weight of the bar. Okay. So, in order to solve for the shear stress, we need to find the force or the reaction of B. The force that will cause shear stress uh, pin since given the uh, given, uh, diameter is uh, pin. Ah, okay. So, we use statics to solve for the reaction. So at A, the surface at A is frictionless. Therefore, the reaction is perpendicular to the surface like this one. RA. No. And for RB, pin man, there are two reaction components. Uh, RBX and the other one is RBY. So perpendicular to the surface and Parallel sa surface. So, um, in order to use the equilibrium conditions, we need to resolve this inclined force into horizontal and vertical components. So, let's determine the angle. Since this is 30, this angle is also 30 degrees. So, therefore, this angle is 60 degrees. A 30 money, same and it's this 30. So this one is 60 degrees. So we have this component horizontal RAX and the other one is RAY. Now we can express RAX and RAY in terms of RA. That is RAX is equal to RA cosine. Since the angle is referred to horizontal, then Adjust inside um, RAX. So RAX is RA cosine 60, while RAY is RA sine 60. So what we're going to do is to sum up moment about B so that we can solve for RA. Okay. So let's sum up moment about B. Now, <clears throat> We need distances like the distance of RAX to point B. We need to find this distance as well as the distance of RAY from B, this one. And also the distance of 1000, perpendicular distance of 1000 to point B. So we use trigonometry. So... The hypotenuse is 10, the, ang uh, the angle is 10 degrees, so opposite needs is 10 sine of 10 degrees, while this one is 10 cosine of 10 degrees. 9.848 and 10 sine 10 degrees, it's 1.736. So therefore, since 1000 pounds is acting at the midpoint between A and B, then the perpendicular distance of 1,000 to B is one half of this. One half of 9.848. So, sign convention is counterclockwise positive. We have this equation. RA cosine 60 to B is counterclockwise. And the perpendicular distance is 1.736. 1,000 is counterclockwise also. The perpendicular distance is one half of 9.848, which is, which is 4.924. And the direction of RAY, RA sine 60 is clockwise. The perpendicular distance is 9.848. And using your calculator, RA is equal to 642.768. So after this, we use the other equilibrium conditions to solve for RBX and RBY. So 
summing up horizontal forces, we only have two, RAX and RBX. This is RA, and the X component is cosine of 60 degrees, minus RBX equal to zero. So RBX is 321.384. For y, there are three vertical forces, R A Y plus R B Y minus one thousand. And R B Y is equal to four hundred forty three point three five. So with these components we can solve for the resultant gate. Okay. So the reaction at B is equal to five hundred forty seven point five eight three pounds. This is the force that will cause shear stress uh, B. Uh, so solving for the shear stress, remember, the P not B is a double shear. So the area will be multiplied by 2. So this area, area of the P is multiplied by 2. So force over area times 2 pi over 4 diameter squared. So the shear stress is equal to 619.74. That's it. So I hope that you have learned something from this video. Okay. Thank you for watching.